Hey there everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video review. And right now I have the deluxe 10 inch Michonne figure from The Walking Dead made by McFarlane Toys. So if you have checked out my other 10 inch deluxe figure reviews by McFarlane, you'll know I have the first and first edition Rick Grimes and first edition um, Daryl Dixon, which were both re-released for Rick having, I think, a more how do you say it? vigilante look to him, I guess, with the uh, handcuffs and the sword and whatnot. And then Daryl was just basically a bloodied up or dirty version of the first figure. And this is the only only version of Michonne that we have had. And I believe, if I remember correctly, they announced a Glenn um, at Toy Fair coming up too. But if you also remember, if you've watched my other reviews, I have been extremely disappointed with the McFarlane 10 inch deluxe figures. Um, even though I keep buying them, they are, they're the only McFarlane, or the only Walking Dead um, collectibles I would buy, other than the General Giant Walking Dead minibus, but you know, I love action figures and statues, and this is kind of a statuesque, if you want to call it, because there is absolutely no articulation on these, um, but they're kind of like figures, but not really statues, so it's kind of the mix of both, um, and I don't really like to call them figures. But, you know, it's it's a kind of a gray area between action figures and statues. But um, when the Michonne was announced, I was really excited. I'm still skeptical, so we'll find out whether McFarlane has changed anything or improved. And going into the Glenn figure, which we all know I'm going to buy, but we don't know how the quality will be. But we can find out a little bit of perspective on that if they've changed anything for this figure. So taking a look at the packaging first, we have the window box display showing Michonne. We have the two interchangeable arms. Um, the one she is holding has a her Michonne, or her um, katana on it. Not Michonne, she's not holding herself, but at the bottom we have the um, holster for the sword. And then what seems to be a base, which if you also remember, Rick and Daryl, um, those figures cannot stand at all. I have both of them leaning up against the walls of my shelf or my... Um, Detolf shelf and I guess they finally realized, oh crap, our figures can't stand. Um, anyway, so at the bottom we do have a little wraparound shot of Michonne and it says AMC The Walking Dead. On the side we just have a image of the back of the figure and then Walking Dead running down across. On the back we have some more images of this figure at the top and we have some of the smaller figures. It's actually been a while since I've looked at this. Um, we have the Morgan with the Impaled Walker set in the, I guess, the middle. And in the bottom we have a box set of Series 8. And this is this figure has been out for a few months so I'm sure a lot of you already know about these. Um, I just haven't had time to do a review of this figure. And then we have some more shots of Michonne. So let's take a look at this figure more closely, open it up out of the packaging, and see how well McFarlane has done this time. So we have taken Michonne out of the packaging, and what do you know, McFarlane cannot make these figures for shit. McFarlane, come on. Especially for a 10 inch quote unquote deluxe figure for what, 30 to 40 dollars? These are absolute shit. I mean, I will say the face sculpt and the paint are a lot better on this than the Rick and Daryl but in terms of articulation and balance and posing in even in just getting the sword into the hands this is absolutely terrible I mean I have more I don't want to say I have the bias for NECA because I have more of their figures but that's the reason I do collect more NECA because even NECA's subtle issues or you know you'll have one figure having major issues and then a dozen of them having no issues I've always had issues with every single McFarlane piece or figure or statue whatever it is that I've had and unfortunately I will still buy these 10 inch deluxe figures but you know it's kind of the job of hobbying and doing these reviews you know you're not always going to have what you want um, and I'm you know I am happy to share my thoughts and review of this figure and others with everyone else so whether you like it or not whether you want to buy it or not at least that's one more insight to add to your opinion or your buying option so the reason I have the arms without the sword right now 
um, other than the fact that I couldn't get the sword into these hands because they are just so tight. Um, I just wanted to show you what the other hands or the other arm poses will look like. So basically the sword will be sticking out from here, or, you know, they'll be holding it. Let me get that into a better view. Um, basically you put the sword through the arms here and, you know, she kind of holds it in front of her face. But the problem is, which comparing it to NECA, with NECA's hands, you don't have to put the hands in hot water or under a hairdryer to loosen them up. These are literally like statues. They are so damn tight that you can't slide anything in them. And I've ch I chipped off some paint on the uh, handle or the hilt just trying to get the, the sword in here. I mean, it, it doesn't fit. Like I'm going to break the sword or bend it in half um, just to get that. So let me get the other arms on real quick. Um, and actually before that also, let me take a quick look at the accessories because this is absolutely hilarious. So you see the, um, I'm blanking on what these are called. I'll just call it the holster for now, but you see the holster for the katana really cool design. You can feel the texture here at the top, um, where the blade kind of slides in first and then rests at the bottom. It's a nice color, simple paint job. And it you know matches with the handle on the sword as well. But look look at how short, number one, how short this is and how straight this is. And then look at the katana. Look how it's curved and how much longer it is. How do you expect what I mean, how do you expect McFarlane to get a sword that is curved like this into a holster that is straight? I mean you can't because number one, you can't even slide it in because you can't. I mean, it's curved. So no matter what, it's going to be sticking up and you're either going to have to break it or not use it at all. Now I did think, and I understand that this can be just used as a display onto Michonne um, to show it as a, you know, that she pulled out the sword, but come on. If you're going to put an accessory that clearly shows, that clearly has a hole to holster or hold that accessory or that weapon, don't, don't cheap, cheap away out of it. Don't cheap yourself out of it. Don't cheat the customers. Come on, McFarlane. I mean, that's ridiculous. This looks like, this is, this is not what you want. This is not what you need. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. I have never seen a company just go the shortcut and cheap way to cheat their customers out of such a minute detail that I mean I would have been fine if you know McFarlane had put another katana in here that was glued so that you couldn't take it out as you know an accessory because we've seen Michonne use one or two katanas or even just have this closed but that I mean I don't know if they're trying to make us look dumb and try to fit this in and say oh hey it can't fit but that's ridiculous sorry I mean I love Todd McFarlane. I love Spawn. I like that he has such a variety in his lines. You know, I like the uh, Walking Dead like display or set pieces that you can get like the RV or um, the governor's head room. But come on, the quality is just subpar. Anyway, so let me get the um, sword and the other arms back. So here we have the other arms back on. Um, this is my preferred pose as well for it so I'd rather have it with this um, and as you can see it is this figure is standing with the uh, small base that they do provide but it is still pretty easy for it to tip over because there's almost no support here on the other heel um, it's basically resting on the toes so you do have to adjust with the little articulation that is on the feet um, adjust it to you know stand a certain way you can kind of get the feet all the way or almost flat or just kind of have it on the toes but just depending how you do pose it be careful because you might risk um, it falling over so getting a closer look at this figure I am really happy with the sculpt overall of the face it is a pretty good job of you know of it looking like Michonne we have her angry fierce face about to attack but you know I kind of wish overall this was like the bloodied or I guess battle version because how often do we ever see these characters clean? Especially Michonne who, you know, she goes on the rage with the katanas and their swords, you know, 
a good rage, which is really cool, and I love seeing her just absolutely maul all the uh, walkers. But, you know, it's, I guess, just a personal preference. Looking at the clothing and the body, we have her brown vest and the pink undershirt, pink, violet, purple, however you want to describe it, and the somewhat bluish dark gray jeans, um, and then the boots have the dirt on the front and the black boots without laces. Um, yeah, so they look pretty good. Overall, and the color of the skin is on point as well, not much going on. Um, you do see some muscle definition and muscle tones here and there. But yeah, that's about it. I mean, the my uh, I guess my frustration with this figure, you know, kind of loses my enthusiasm for it. Um, I am happy to have Michonne and I'm happy to see Glenn, but McFarlane is just incredibly slow at making these figures. It's been what, I think four years since the first one came out, maybe three, and we're only on our third figure, the fourth one announced for this year. So it seems like they release one figure a year and then just recycle that to make a slightly altered version. But you know, I'd love to have Maggie go with Glenn. Um, Carl, yeah, sure, we can have Carl. I'd love to see um, Merle, um, probably the governor. Um, and, you know, just all the major characters that we need and we have. And I really hope they bring in a Herschel, which would be really cool as well. Um, but that's about it. You know, I won't go into too much else on this figure. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please feel free to comment or leave any questions below. Um, I can maybe go into more detail about anything. But... Yeah, that's about it. So make sure to like, follow, and subscribe my pages and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.